I'm going to show you how to replace the the uh, bearings on the rear roller of a treadmill. These are the bearings I generally had problems with. I've never had the bearings on the front roller go bad. It's always been the, the bearings on the rear roller for some reason. But I'm going to show you how to replace them. It's very simple. So first you're going to start off by removing these two caps here. And it's just a, a Phillips screwdriver. Um, Once you remove the two end caps here, you're going to remove these two bolts here that are used to tension the rear roller and tighten and adjust the belt. Before you do that, take a tape measure and you want to measure between this little plate here that the bolt pushes against and the edge of this little axle there. And this is almost three quarters of an inch. And that's about three quarters of an inch there. So we're going to use those to adjust, uh, rough adjust the belt, uh, roller when we go to put it back on. So you're going to use the hex key that you use to adjust the belt. And just go ahead and remove these bolts. Once you've removed the two bolts, go ahead, lift up the roller, and slide it out. Okay, now that we have the rear roller removed, we're going to go ahead and use some snap ring pliers to remove the snap ring here. There's two little holes there. We use these two little pins on the end of the snap ring pliers. Put those in the holes. Use these to spread the snap ring. and then lift it off there once we have that off take a hammer and just tap there and go ahead and pull the axle out of the roller body so now we have there's a bearing at each end. And if you look at the numbers on here, it says 6203Z. So this is the type of bearing that you're going to need to buy to uh, replace this bearing. And I already have a pair. Be careful when uh, buying bearings. You want to buy some decent quality, quality bearings to replace them with. Uh, there's a lot of bearings out there that are uh, from China and they're very poor quality so just try to buy some quality bearings uh, these are made by Nachi and they're actually made in Japan and they're supposed to be pretty good quality so I'm gonna go ahead and remove these bearings I have a bearing puller with a slide hammer here so how this works is um, you go ahead and take this little attachment part this slides into the, the hole, the inside hole of the bearing. Screw this down, and what that does, it causes these little prongs to expand out, and it's going to grab to the inside of the bearing. Slide that in there, just tighten this down. Then we screw on the little handle here. You can buy these little uh, bearing pullers or uh, you can go to a lot of auto parts stores, may rent them or you go to a rental place and rent them. It's probably going to be a lot cheaper to rent them than to buy. But So anyway, with the hammer here, just go ahead, pull it out. Oops. 
There's one bearing. So now go ahead and remove the second bearing. And there's the second bearing removed. Okay, so I have both of the bearings removed from the roller body, and I have my two brand new rollers here. So what I'm gonna do is just take just a little bit of grease and just put it around the edge of the new bearing just to help it go in smoothly. Then I'm going to set it into the hole there. And then with a the hammer, just gently tap around the outside. You don't want to hit on the inside of there. Hit around the very outside of the bearing and tap it around evenly because you don't want it to go in an angle. And tap it in until it's roughly flush with the uh, the, out, the, the end of the uh, roller. Now we'll do the other one. With a, with a rag, just go ahead and wipe off any excess grease off of there. Now we're going to go ahead and take the axle, slide that back down through the roller. And you might have to take a hammer and get it going. Get it lined up with the other end. There we go. And the little notch for the split ring is not fully there, so we'll go ahead. Tap around the, the bearing a little bit more. And it's almost there. So take this one and just tap around the edge of the bearing a little bit more. There. Now with the split ring pliers, we'll go ahead, insert that into the split ring, spread the split ring, slide it over the axle. and get it down so that it's into the, the notch. There, I got that fully locked on. Now that we have the roller put back together, we're gonna slide it back into place. Roughly center of the bolt, the belt, and we're gonna take the adjusting bolts Slide them in, and they're going to thread into the axle. Get those started, and there's a little notch in the back plate there on this one that the end of the bolts fit into. Okay, we're, we're going to uh, adjust the roller out till this gap is about where it was before we took it off.
Now we're going to turn the treadmill on to about two miles per hour to adjust the belt. Okay, now that the belt is going two miles per hour, what we want to do is adjust the belt so it's centered. Right now it's coming a little bit this way. So what we could do is we want the belt to go that way so we can tighten this end of the belt, this bolt here. We'll just tighten it a little bit which will bring this end of the roller out and the belt will move that way. Alternatively, we can loosen this bolt so that end of the roller goes in and again the belt will move this way. That looks pretty good. So if you want the belt to move this way, you can loosen this bolt here or tighten this bolt here. If you want the belt to move this way, you can loosen this bolt or tighten that belt. Okay, so we got the belt adjusted. Now we just need to put the end caps back on. Just slide them on. Put the screw back in. There we go, all done.